Hi guys, I know I've been in my A, but I've been working on some great projects. And this is one of the projects that is finally finished that I've been working on. I wanted you guys to be a part and come along with the journey of me creating this whole couture look from Ellie Sop collection for The Strength of a Woman, The Purpose Ball by Lawrence Balenciaga, Miss Lawrence, in conjunction with Mary J. Blige, Pepsi, and Live Nation. And I, guys, I want y'all to sit back and stay tuned while I go through this process of a love and a passion of mine, making beautiful gowns. So you guys, this gown took over, it took a, about a month and some change maybe from the start of the idea to the finishing product and is more than 350 hours of hard work um, between me and Josh we created this masterpiece our partnership our team and making this every vision come to life so let me give you a backstory how this look has come together so Jennifer Williams of Basketball Wives wanted contacted me facetime to get josh to make her reunion gown and she wanted this ellie sop look <clears throat> it was so beautiful and i was racking my mind and my brain having to oh my god what can i do i don't know what i could do I, how am i going to top my previous looks and as i'm going to do i'm going to insert a look right here so as you can see i was a queen before so i had to top that look it has to be beyond my wildest imagination and so a lot of criticism that has been given to me is that i wear a lot of tool and i didn't want to do tool i wanted to show people that i could be a little different and diverse and things and give a little something different than shannon normally gives so this is what we came up with I wanted something a little bit more sheer, a little more sexy, a little bit more over the top. But you also need, because it's a stage, I wanted to sparkle and shine. So when Jennifer showed me the collection, I went through it and I saw the complete collection and I fell in love with this look. And I was like, this is it. This screams queen, this screams fresh, it screams new, but also it screams regalness. And so we got to making this. Once it took, oh my God, like I know Josh, I, I racked. I was, I, I was such, such, I was just on it. I was so much, I like, I needed to fit right. I needed to look right. I was so nervous. Once it the, the shell came together, I was like, give it to me. You work on the next part, I'm gonna start stoning. We got to it. I started stone, stoning it hours like it's no joke it took me a full month to stone the gown and the cape inside and out oh and as you can see it was going to be a veil on it but sometimes you have to edit i had gloves because if you look at the original um sketch and original um designer look it has gloves it has sleeves but i was told to edit the look down for the moment, take the sleeves off, take the gloves off, which I still have and I can put on to that look. Um, I was told to take the cape off so it can come off. The head piece, the, the, the big red piece, all that had to come off in the midst of the moment. So you guys, you can see me stoning this hard work. This is hours. So I entertain myself by stoning, by watching television, different programs. I love my Forensic Files. Hey, Forensic Files. Who else like them? Um, and you can see it just took multiple fittings, multiple times, um, down to the point when I almost finished stoning, I had to take it and have it do alterations on it for fit because I was working out three hours a day. So I was stoned about 12 to 14 hours. I would work out for three hours and then I would sleep for the rest of the hours. That was my whole life for one 
month. And I didn't finish stoning until the night before the event, which was May. It was really, truly May the 14th. <laughs> so, because it only needs eight hours to dry. So, this is what you see, the process. The process of each step. I need to see pieces getting made. We put it together. We put it back on. And as you can see in my waist, on my waist, the waist ratio from my waist, I mean, the ratio from my, br my bust to my waist to my hips is so much that and I'm losing weight in the process. Each time we do a fitting, I will lose like two or plus dress sizes. So we try not to put the zipper in until the last moment, but I lost so much weight that, as you can see, it looks very baggy in my waist. It looked like I'm pregnant. So I'm going to, in the next video, this is only part one, you get to see the final look, you get to see the moment, you get to see everything together with hair and makeup, because it's a whole, it's every little detail matters from the jewelry to the hair. Everything was made. Me and Josh, we made everything. We made my vision come to life. The gown was made. The crown was made. Everything was made in-house. And so you're going to get to see me do all these things. Stay tuned. Ms. Teresa, you were the defendant or a couple for a period of time. Yes, for two years. And what you did foolishly was get a dog together. Yes. And you want me to resolve the issue of the dog. Yes. When did you separate? Uh, we separated in, on February 8th, 2018. And when you were together, were you living in the same house? No. We were going to move in together. But you weren't? Living in the same house. Correct. When did you get the puppy? We got the puppy on January 12th, 2018. Oh, so you had the puppy a relatively short period of time? Yes. A couple of weeks and who has your obviously? Here's the thing. You won't confess to a DNA sample. What is your concern? He wasn't giving up his DNA. We're like, okay, this is suspect number one. Pull all the suspects aside. At that point, the guy didn't have to leave. I wasn't arresting him, so I let him walk. No, you did great, man. I'll take care of it from there. Thank you. We do a deep dive to find out exactly who is Rodney Price. It's a Rodney Price, 22 years old. Doesn't have a serious criminal history. That's the perfect person to fly under the radar and commit crimes like this. So he's not even in cars. Thank you for watching so for part one. Stay tuned for part two, Yo, where you see the final touches. And like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you comment below. Tell me what you think. And also tell me what y'all want to see me do next. I'm always looking for the next biggest thing to do.